morning guys so welcome to day four of Ramadan and uh, just literally got up and it's like what time is it half ten half ten right now yeah it was a late one don't ask so I thought we could make us some coffee um, and uh, get to have some breakfast hopefully she will be better after that and then uh, we'll, we're probably gonna go for a walk today um, today so Maybe I'm thinking because Braggy Park is Braggy Park is quite big, so we can try and avoid people, so try to go up the hills, etc. So it'd be a nice hike to go for, um, and then uh, we shall see where the day leads us. Inshallah. Hey babe! Oh, you made me coffee first. I would show her, but she's not got a scarf on. But I made you some coffee. So I made you some coffee. Oh, thank you. That's and nice. And then I got some biscuits for you. Biscuits? That's a treat, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. What, we don't have toast, so I'm not going to make toast. So I was going to make toast. <laughs> okay, so I've just made the bed, guys. Bed looking cute or whatever. And for some reason, the sun decided to come out, which is amazing. Which makes us so happy, so we're gonna get ready and head to the park. Also, by the way, guys, please ignore the mess underneath here. But I just thought I'd show you guys our it's a bed. Good way to squat, squat, guys. One, Do you squat two, like that? Three. Ooh. Ooh. So yeah, underneath wow. here is a bit of a tip. I've got all my summer. Oh, isn't that big cupboard <laughs> enough for you? No. So yeah, in here I've got all like my summer dresses, skirts, all of this, that, yeah, and the other. you see the size of this wardrobe. And then you see this as well. No, no, darling, no. Let's not go there. But anyways, um, I just thought I would mention this. If you guys are interested in getting a bed like ours, similar to ours, or any sort of bed really catered to your style, just use the code Amina50. Um, I bought mine from Arista Living. Um, I get questioned about my bed all the time, so I thought I'd mention it to you guys. So yeah, this is not paid or nothing like that, but they kindly have given you guys a discount code. So if any of you guys are interested in getting a bed, I would 100% recommend this bed. How comfortable is it? Like, it's comfortable and it, like, it's quite high up. So when you get into bed, you feel like you're getting into bed, and I love that. Weird so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice so yeah if you guys are interested in getting a bed similar to ours or any sort of bed you can literally make your own style of bed then simply use a code um, amina50 i will leave it linked in the description box below for you guys so check that out it's limited time only guys you can literally get this bed this massive super king size bed for literally 200 or something something really inexpensive but um yeah, I just want to crawl back in bed, but, you know, we need to actually get up and, you know, get on with the day. And then I turn around and I see this guy doing this, like, really? Really? I don't know how to do it. Mm. Hey, Dom. Oh, Hi. Where are, you yeah, where are you taking us? We are going to go to the park, but we're not going to go to Braggate Park because it's not, like, super sunny. It might rain later on and it's quite far out. It's a good one, half an hour. A bit chilly still, isn't it? Yeah, so we're not going to go all the way there. Because all there when you climb the mountain, it's literally cold. Yeah. Flipping cold. <laughs> it is really cold and we don't want to risk it, so we're just going to go to a local... Well, it's not really local, it's our local park, Abbey Park. Abbey Park. Abbey Park is literally the best park in Leicester. It's so nice and beautiful. And they always have like fairs in here and stuff like that. But I wish we had like Regent's Park kind of here. Yeah, that would be London cool. Regent's Park is the best. But we're going to like a nice little open field. It's kind of like a it's like a walk. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite cute. It's near my mom's house actually. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's where we're going. The weather is okay. It's quite decent. So let's see. See, let's see. A nice little walk about. How do you feel driving again? She hasn't driven in ages, actually. Yeah, I know. You always get in the car and you drive, and I'm like, I don't want to drive. 
drive. But I like to drive. I like driving too. Some people actually hate driving, but I find it quite a therapeutic. Eyes in the road. I find it quite a therapeutic to be fair, so. Yeah. Adol has a thing where he, like, he likes to drive his woman around. Yeah. And I'm like, babes, no. Yeah. I drive myself mm -hmm. around. You, you drive the car when I'm at work anyway. Yeah, no. You have you drive the car more than me actually. I know, I do. So yeah. Because I drive and pick you up. Anyway, it's got my Apple Watch. You see how many steps we do today? Come on, my love, come on, my love. Come on, my love. Yeah. Next pack to audition coming up. How I wish you be. A few moments later. Guys, look how cute this place is. Well, it's a jungle. It's, it's a mess. I'm not gonna lie, but you know what? It's like a nice little woodlands. No, down here, that's where the thing we walked last time. It's a nice little walkway. If we had like an imaginary dog, we'll be taking our dog. We'll take a little pug. If we could have a dog, I'd get a pug for sure. A little pug walking with us right now. That'd be so cute. Which dog would you get? Husky. Husky? A husky. Yeah, that suits your image. <laughs> me, a little pug. Like a little it? pug would suit me. Oh my god, I should have got my shades with me. Would have been you perfect. You think my birthday will be in quarantine? I hope not. I don't think it will. Adol's birthday is um, in I June, guys. Time. So his birthday is really soon. But I hope, I don't think by June we'll be in quarantine. No, no chance. Inshallah, not anyways. Yeah. I think we'll be back to normal, inshallah, by then. Because sure. how peak would it be? If any of you guys had your birthday in quarantine, I feel, feel for, for you guys. Because well, you can have a big party after. You can have an even better one. But, like, it's you know what? When it's your birthday, you like to go out for a meal, you like to go out. You can do you know, double celebration lockdown ending and your birthday celebration. Two in one and in. Yeah. And Ramadan Eid celebration, the main one. Yeah, I really hope by Eid Al Futur. That this is all lifted so we can actually like see family because it's so odd not seeing family in it's Ramadan as it is. Yeah, I know. But anyways, this is so nice. I love it. I'm back to the little granny that I am. I love being in nature and I love walking and just being surrounded by like fresh air. That's just me. Anyways, I sound like I'm old. Um, I just want to talk about adults here. So, <laughs> we haven't really talked about it on the vlogs. Guys, I'm pretty sure you're thinking, what the hell happened to adults here? This one wanted to cut my hair. Me. So, unfortunately. It's... Oh, I could do it, I could do it. Feed, feed, feed. I was like, you know what? Oh. I was like freaking out. You know what? I really wanted <laughs> I to do. I was, I was, I really wanted to do his hair because his hair got to a point where it was like jungly. So, I was like, we really need to do it. Did it, and then to come here. It's a bit better now because it's grown out, but. When it was done freshly, it was literally like you can literally see just no like a paper, line. Just like I know, I felt like so you know bad. When you pour, pot in your head. Yeah, that's how they used it. to cut it back in the days. <laughs> yes, yeah, so was... right. So let's see yes, your outfit today. Outfit of the day. So jumper is from H and M. I've had this for at least like three years, and honestly, it's still intact. I wash it all the time. It's still the same. Anyways, and then I've got these beautiful necklaces from Topshop. That's, that's really beautiful. And then I've got this leopard print skirt that I got from Sheen. She cute or whatever. She cute print. or whatever. This is the trainers that I got for my birthday this year. Yeah. I did ask if you're watching. And then I've got my Apple Watch and my little Pandora bracelet. Oh, right. Close up of that too. A pole and Pandora. And that's which I got you too. And that's what I've got for this. Cool, bro. Look how cute my flower is, guys. I got a piece. Adol picked this flower out for me. How cute. Cheesy. So cute. Isn't it? You remember that day? I do. 
Are you enjoying our little walk together? Yes, we are. It's nice. It's so nice and peaceful. I think we saw like a one person um, taking the dog out for a walk, but it's just so nice. No one's here. It's like a little hidden like walkway, like a nice little open field. Yeah. I'm all for that. I found like a little angles. A little cute little angle moment. Angle moment, angle moment. Cute. Cute. How cute is my little flower? Keep on saying it, but it's adorable. Come on. Just just come here for a minute. For a minute. Just like <laughs> this one kind of hold on. Just stay quiet for two seconds. so nice <laughs> and peaceful okay so we're home now and i actually really enjoyed that walk having said that my back is really hurting because when i'm on my time of month and my back my back stomach thighs everything ache like they really really ache so my back is killing me so bad right now but i'm gonna sit on the sofa read some quran so for all of you guys are wondering how I'm going to read the Quran while I am on, you simply just wear some gloves. Just don't touch the Quran. Just wear some gloves and then you can read Quran like normal. But I just got it clarified and you can wear gloves and still read your Quran. So that's what I'm going to do. Also, I know some of you guys are going to ask me where I got my Quran from. It is a rainbow Quran. So if you go on to Instagram and type in rain rainbow Quran UK, you can purchase it from that, web, um, from that Instagram page. So I absolutely love it. It because every jizza is a different color so you know when you finish the jizza because the page turns a different color so i absolutely love it it's so easy and beneficial that way um and it's really clear and stuff so i absolutely love this quran i have had it for so many years now and would highly recommend oh. okay so we finished reading our jizza for the day alhamdulillah like we are on track which is amazing alhamdulillah. and it's made me feel so good because i was just a little bit concerned but you know you can still read quran so amazing um i'm actually on my phone and i'm actually using a new app and i thought i'd share it with you guys it's called donate app it's such a good app isn't it? it's such an amazing app i was introduced to it recently and i thought i would share it with you guys basically on this app you can donate to dif different charities all at once it takes literally less than 30 seconds to to donate i think what they've done is they've created the app with everything in one app yeah. rather than you trying to go to different charities the different app. Donate. you can also set up payment different payment, payment. terms as well so for example if you want to um sponsor a child for example you can do a direct debit which every month it comes out of your account. You can account. do monthly, you can do daily, you can do weekly, you can do, you can set it up and do the way, the way you want the it. The way basically. you want it. So like, especially Flexible. like now that it's Ramadan, if you want to donate, like, let's say five pounds or 10 pounds a day, you can simply do it and it comes and takes 10 pounds a day out of your account. Or even mm -hmm. if you want to do one pound a day, you can Whatever do as much you as you can. Basically. So I think this app is literally so clever because I've never seen an app like that where you can literally donate to different charities. You know when you have to go online and just literally go to like type in a certain charity and then donate? It's here and there, here and there. Yeah, this one it takes literally less than 30 seconds and you can donate to different charities and I absolutely love it. So mm. I thought why not share it with you guys, especially now that it's Ramadan. Or even it also reminds you in terms of the last 10 days of Ramadan, if you want to donate in those times. Especially because obviously you. the last 10 days are the most important days. Mm. So if you wanted to just donate the last 10 days, you can still do it the last 10 days as well. So I've just been on the app now and I'm just obviously asked to were donating money and I just thought you know it's a perfect time to like share it with you guys as well. It's not just throughout Ramadan you can do it whenever it's yeah, on the it's go. It's yeah. pretty straightforward there's an app to do it so you can download the app and just on the go when you ever you're out and about just donate some money. I think it's really really Yeah, clever. so it's throughout the year so it's not just Ramadan so any time you want to donate. Mm. It's always open. And one thing I wanted to mention, which is so crucial, guys. I know, like, God forbid, there is some charities out there that say it's 100% donation and it's not. They take some of the money, they take a cut. This is 100% all goes to charity which is incredible so i absolutely love the whole concept Inshallah. behind the, the whole concept behind this app so i will leave it linked down below for you guys to check out and download 100 percent would recommend it i'm not just saying that for the sake of it but whatever you guys can give whatever give. you guys can give give honestly especially now more than ever like people out there really need the money right now especially like we're all in quarantine but alhamdulillah we have a roof over our head we have like food fill our bellies with like there's people out there like, that have literally nothing imagine that like they have to break the fast and they have nothing to break the fast with like imagine that 
we well, have they're constantly fasting yeah they they're nothing. constantly fasting like mm. so imagine how hard that could be so so yeah i will definitely leave that app link down below for you guys to download it's free to download as well so yeah anyway so i just thought i'd share that app with you guys because it's so beneficial and i could not I could not recommend it enough. But anyways, we are now gonna go upstairs and we are gonna get changed because I'm so extra, but I wanna take a picture next to my banners that say Ramadan Mubarak. I really wanna take a cute little picture, a cute couple's little picture. So you know what, you gotta go. Why is it little always? Why is it little? <laughs> Everything's little in my little, life. Little, little, little. Everything's little, little, little. Everything's little Why in my not life. cute big picture? Why not Guys, cute how nice is picture. the bed? Link down below. Average picture. <laughs> anyway, so we are gonna get changed and take a nice little cute picture or whatever. Couple's picture. You know, always when it comes to Rondon, I wanna take like cute little couple pictures. So. Again, little, little. Everything's little, little in my little, life. Little, what don't you understand? Little, little, little. Like, Yani, Yani. Don't you understand, Yani? Yani, you. Yani. I'm trying to teach him some Arabic. Have you learned any Arabic so far? Go on. Abaus. What? What is that? You know Arabic, don't you? No, um, Hamar, Ya Albi. You don't spell it. You just say it normal, like ya natural. Albi. It doesn't sound like that, Ya Albi. Yeah, it, that's how you literally say Ya Albi. You don't say Ya Albi. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you say it, darling. Anyways, we are gonna get our clothes out <gasps> from the storage. And yeah, we're gonna take some. Do you think pictures. I can sleep in there? Oh, right, let's go try it. Have hold this. Yeah, we'll go on then. You better hold it. It's big enough for you know when you want to do like hide and seek. If you want to hide and seek in here, this would be ideal. Make sure. You, can you lift it back up? Yeah, I can. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> I'll there. try. I'll try. Lay down properly first. I'm a scared. Okay, you hold it in then. You go in. You're small. No, wow, are you joking? I like to be in like small places. Go on, put your head down. Good bye. <laughs> That's him all the way down. Anyways. <laughs> this is so much fun. How was it, darling? Your turn. Your turn. What do you mean, my dear? No, 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 no. <laughs> was it fun? Okay, so I put a bit of makeup on and I literally feel like human again. Like I've missed wearing my eyeliner so much. Just a bit of eyeliner literally transforms your face. It's crazy. But anyways, I thought I'd share with you guys what lippy I've got on, because I know someone's gonna ask me. It's the, um, what's it called? Retro Matte Liquid Lip in shade Burnt Spice. It's absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love the shade. It's like so natural. It's kind of like a pinky nude. And that color seems to suit me anyway. So I'm really, really happy with it. But yeah, I am gonna, like I mentioned, get changed now. I've got an absolutely stunning abeya from Modernesia. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. How are we looking? I swear I, I clean. Need to get new job, I swear I clean this mirror, like literally just the before. Dust is everywhere, darling. Oh my you God. Dust, you cannot see, like I always say to you. Anyways, this is the abeya. Um, I absolutely love it. It's so nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. From Modernesia, so if you guys can see it. Pretty. It's got this little cute detailing here, um, like little feathers, and then it kind of the opens fluff. up here, and it's got like, it looks like a skirt from down here, but it's Abeya, and it's so beautiful. Show your jubba. Mine is just plain cream jubba. That's really nice though. With the, I'll need to get a new one. Yeah, you should get a black one, black one look. But different, different style. But it's so cute, mashallah. So yeah, we are gonna go downstairs. Yeah, we're all dressed up just to go downstairs to get it. Okay, maybe not. Okay, so you can probably see that barrier better in this lighting in this mirror for some odd reason. It's fine. It's it's fine. Whatever. So yeah, this is how that barrier looks. And um, if you guys are interested, I will leave it linked down below. But I love it. Love it. She's beautiful and nice and flowy and cute. Anyways, and I've paired it with my Zara heels. We're gonna go in. I think Adel's is setting up. Oh yeah, mashallah, yani, mashallah, yummy, yummy, yani. LOL, the struggles of trying to take a good Instagram picture. Oh, no. 
Okay, so it's you lot's favorite time, baking. Adol's eyes is feeling a bit sensitive, isn't it? Yeah. So his glasses are out, so yeah. Anyways, it's you lot's favorite time. It's gonna be cooking and baking now. So we are gonna be baking some cinnamon bun kit. That looks like that. And you make some really yummy cinnamon buns. Cinnamon and I, buns. I love cinnamon. You're not a massive fan, are you? Yeah, it's all right. It's all right, it'll do, it'll do. It'll do. You know it's the evening when me and Adol are both in our comfies. Comfy ways. Comfy Anyways, ways. let's get on with bacon. I'm excited, I'm really excited. We've never tried this out before. This is our first time, so let go. We'll let you know how it turns out, basically. Hopefully. But hopefully it tastes out good because it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Guys, what a fail. <laughs> the cinnamon rolls are kind of burnt, I'm not gonna lie. We were like so distracted cooking and we forgot about the cinnamon rolls and yeah, the top's um, definitely not, well it's done. Not, it's not end of the world, look at it, it's soft. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's still cinnamon on top. It's still soft, like it's still edible of course, but I mean, you know, she's, uh, she's burnt. But that's fine because we're going to add some, what's it called, syrup on top and then yeah, it's going to just disguise the burntness. We can mix you know? this with milk anyway. Should be fine. And for iftar today guys, we are going to um, make some rice. And we have some leftover curry from yesterday yep. that we had the chickpea curry. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll leave that link down below for you. <laughs> guys, time to break our fast. Well, adults fasting. I'm pretty much fasting to be fair. All I had was a breakfast that I haven't telling me. telling to eat, but she don't want to eat. But no, I want to keep that fast, that <laughs> hunger. So when I do go back to fasting, I am ready. So we have some rice, some mint rice. sauce some leftover curry from yesterday and we fried some samosas as you guys can see and that's Adol's plating you ready for food? yeah mm -hmm. well done for fasting mashallah and then we just disguised our burnt cinnamon with so. some icing so it actually looks quite decent if you can smell it it actually smells insane I'm not gonna lie I'm sure it tastes nice I'm sure it will okay let's eat now so guys um, we just finished eating and stuff now um, um, we're gonna end the vlog here now because um, Amina's having her cramps again, she's in pain, so I thought I'd end the vlog here. I told her to go upstairs and have an early night, so make sure obviously you took her medicine and stuff. So hopefully, she feels better, inshallah. Day four already, uh, don't know where time's flying bus, but we're gonna end it early today. So we're just try and get an early night in. Hopefully, she feels better tomorrow, and then inshallah, we've got day five coming. Keep watching, and if you like the video, please. Don't forget to do a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And inshallah we'll see you tomorrow. Slams.